All right, everyone. I have the Dirt Devil Endura Express Compact Bagless Upright. It says it has compact power for quick cleanups. It has a grab-and-go convenience with a lightweight design. Powerful pickups on carpet and hard floors, so I'm interested to see how it cleans hard floors. Full onboard tool kit with a two-in-one dusting brush and crevice tool. It has an eight-foot hose, I believe, yes. Two-in-one dusting brush, quick cord release, a rinsable filter with patented powerful suction design with long-lasting performance, a multi-floor brush roll, clean path technology, we'll see what that is, and it has this interesting Endura filter. I want to see what an Endura filter means and what that is, so we're going to open this to unbox vacuums from the side than vertically. I have a screwdriver and scissors with me. Yeah, they have this quick assembly thing though. Alright, here's the dusting brush crevice tool combo. It's kind of similar to a Dyson one. Does this come off? Yes it does. It's not the greatest crevice tool, but it's it does the job, you know. Handle, comfortable handle. Looks like I probably don't even need a screwdriver, do I? And the rest is the whole back end. Oh, that phone squeak. Ugh. I just don't like that sound. You know? All right, here's the vacuum. The well, assembly is super easy, according to them. So it has this guy right here. So I'm guessing you just go like that, and then you put this like this. Yep, that was pretty simple. And the hose. That's interesting. Do I have any hose storage brackets? Where does the hose go? Oh, it goes up here. No wonder. It does have a lock. It holds that in place. Oh, then this guy should slide down here. And then that goes there. Well, that was that was pretty easy. <laughs> that was actually really easy. This is a quite I wouldn't call it a tiny vacuum like the Bissell Power Force Compact. That's a really small vacuum. This one's larger, but it also of course costs more. I picked this guy up for like $39, something like that. $38, because it was on sale. Plus, I used a 5% off coupon on it, which took it down to $38. So, pretty freaking cheap. It goes for $55 at its normal price. So, I'm interested, interested to see this filtration system that they're talking about. So, here's the post motor filter it's a relatively thick piece of foam but I know that it has a better pre-motor filter. So that's the, that's the post. So the pre-motor filters, of course, in here. We have this guy. I believe this guy just turns like that. Then it has this awesome pleated filter. This is a nice filter. This is a lot better than what you get with an inexpensive Bissell. So as you can see, it has a decent filter in it. Make sure that the foam is completely covering this filter. It has a good seal right here holding this filter, making sure dust doesn't get through it. And it has this interesting cyclonic assembly thing right here. This thing is so weird. So it has like this interesting design right here. It is a very strong plasticky smell. You can see that design right there. Let's see what it looks like when it's completely put together. So it looks like this. Interesting. All right.
So the bin capacity is decent, I'd say. It does include a pretty good seal on the bin. So the bin capacity is not too bad. Let's check out the brush roll that we had. They say it's a multi-floor brush roll. I'm interested with brushes. They're not super stiff, but they're not the softest. Let's check out the nozzle design. So it has sort of like a guide vein in here. You can't see it, but there's like a guide in here moving it towards. And as you can see, they included some metal on the wheel. If you can see that shininess right there, that's good. I like it when they include metal in high stress areas, such as this wheel. It does not have height adjustment, sadly. Oh, it just springs off like that. Awesome. But it should work well enough. What I see by multi-floor is there's a big rubber gasket. And it seems like it's separated into different parts because you can see it's not all one continuous strip. Because I like that because if one piece breaks, then the entire thing, it, it won't rip. Unplug before servicing. Uh, I hope so. Mm -mm. The motor is a 8 amp motor. Not too bad. Of course, Tektronic, that would be Hoover, and I believe Auric. So, the vacuum body is big, but the head is quite small, but whatever. I don't really care. It was inexpensive, and does, uh, it is a good test vacuum. One, two, three, user. Hard, but hard floor. I like how they included that gasket, because on most cheap vacuums, you can't clean hard floors because they don't include a seal to make the vacuum seal down to the floor so it doesn't take everything back. So I'm going to start off by vacuuming my upstairs with this machine. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's pretty light. It's not the lightest. The quality of the machine, it's, it's better than Bissell, I can tell you, because it includes a better filter. That's what I like. The filter that they include isn't just a cheesy piece of foam. They do include a pleated. I don't know if it's HEPA, but it's a pleated filter, so it's better than a Bissell, which just includes one piece of foam, like the Bissell Power Force Helix includes one piece of foam as its filter, and that's it. That's not enough. So this machine, as I showed you, includes a better filter. The dust cup is pretty easy to empty, but it includes a better filtration system. There are lots of seals on the machine holding the vacuum so it doesn't leak. This seems to be a decently well-built, i put it in the mid-range uh, vacuum. They do include a decent hose, unlike the Bissell. It is a metal, there's metal in the hose, you can see right here, reinforced stretch. And it's not super short like on the Bissell. So this is definitely a better deal than the Bissell Power Force Helix vacuum, and I like it better already because it has a hard floor gasket, and it has a better hose and a better filter. So this guy's normal price is 55 and the Bissell Power Force Helix normally goes for 50 So $5 more and you get a better vacuum. That, that's, that's pretty good. I like that. And this hose part also locks down. I like that. Yeah, so overall thoughts. Quality seems to be okay. Filters, it has multiple filters on it. I like how they included three filters instead of just one, like on the Bissells. I haven't vacuumed up here in a little bit, so we should pick up something off the floor. So, stay tuned and I will show a cleaning video. Stay tuned everyone.